Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have a review for you on Ofra Cosmetics. I am super excited about this brand because I have kind of been intrigued with them for a while now. I have watched a few videos on YouTube with people talking about these products from Ofra and I was just really intrigued with some of the products that they have on their website. They have skincare, they have makeup, um, they have some professional items and if you guys are not familiar with Ofra Cosmetics, they are a leading manufacturer in skincare and makeup and they do provide um, beauty kits to cosmetology schools. I think they're kind of one of the leading manufacturers for the beauty kits for cosmetology schools and salons. Ofra Cosmetics actually does it all from start to finish. They actually formulate, they test, they manufacture, they package, and they ship products and they're actually sold over 20 countries and um, they actually are made right here in the United States. So I'm really excited to share the products that I got to review for you guys. And the first product I wanna talk about is an eyeshadow palette that I'm obsessed with. I know we overuse that word here on YouTube, but I'm seriously in love with this palette, you guys. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I love my eyeshadows. Like, I could be drowning in eyeshadow and it still wouldn't be enough. Like. That's how much I love eyeshadow. It's like one of my favorite beauty products and um, I could just never have enough eyeshadows. I just don't. So with that being said, this is the Ofra Pro Diamonds Are Forever palette and you get 13 eyeshadows in this palette. It is a magnetic palette. It looks very similar to a Z palette. It's nice and slim so it's great for traveling, great for storage. Um, I just really love this. And it actually has a lot more room in it, so you could add more magnetic eyeshadows to the palette if you'd like. Um, but it does come with 13. They're 2 grams each. Um, they're like a MAC-sized eyeshadow. And it has a beautiful selection of colors in here. And on the back, it does have a list of ingredients. It says it's made in the USA, and it tells you, you know, their website, how many colors are in here, and... Um, you know, two gram, that they're two grams each. Now, each eyeshadow does not have an individual name, which doesn't bother me, I don't mind that at all. But these are all the beautiful shades in here. So you do get mostly neutrals, but you also have some colorful shades over here, but they're not too vibrant, so I definitely think they are wearable. So I've been wearing these eyeshadows every single day this week. I've been kind of trying to alternate between them. Um, I have used the majority of them, but there are a few that I have not used, like the green and blue one I haven't used, and like a couple of these bronzy ones over here I have not used. Some of them look very similar, but they're actually slightly different. So I actually am wearing them today for the most part. I did have to use it in combination with another palette just to get some matte shadows in there because the majority of these are pretty shimmery and metallic. Um, I would say the ones I used today, these purple, this purple and pink one, they're not as shimmery as like these neutral ones over here. But if you guys know me, you know I love eyeshadow and you know I love my metallic shimmery shadows. So um, this palette is right up my alley. I am in love with it. It's just so beautiful. So they are magnetic. You can remove them. And you can, you know, rearrange them, you can push them up and add more shadows in here if you'd like. I just want to actually show you how pigmented these are. I mean, they're extremely pigmented. So here's one that's like actually one of my favorites. Um, I'm just going to swipe it once. And you see that? It's just oh, really, really pretty. So they're highly pigmented, really great quality, they blend lovely, they have great pigmentation um, when you apply them with the brush onto your lid. I'm just in love with these. So I want to go ahead and swatch all of them on my hand and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so these are all the beautiful shadows. Look at how stunning they are. Oh, just one swipe. Most of them were one swipe. There was a couple where I did have to work up, build up a little bit. Um, so this one here is just a beautiful, very light purple. It does have a sheen to it, but like I said, it doesn't seem as shimmery when I put it on the lid as it actually looks more shimmery on my hand. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't apply as shimmery on the lid as it looks on the hand. It's just a nice soft purple, so it makes it very wearable. This is like a beautiful, I would say like a champagne light rose gold perhaps. It's just absolutely stunning. That's one of my favorites. I love to apply that one all over the lid. This one's like a true rose gold, beautiful color. This one's a copper, oh, stunning for fall, absolutely gorgeous. 
This is a cranberry shade with a gold sheen. It is stunning. I wore that all over the lid and I just thought it was so beautiful. It's just that gold sheen that it has is beautiful, you guys. Ugh. So this green one right here wasn't the best. I feel like this one's probably the least pigmented. Um, it just kind of took a few swipes to build it up a little bit. Um, that one I probably won't wear as much just because I really don't wear greens of that sh of that color very often. And blue, same thing with blues, I don't wear those colors very often. But definitely all the rest of them I love. Um, this blue one, is it is pretty. It is a blue and it has a beautiful gold sheen to it, which actually makes it a little bit more unique. It is really, really pretty. Um, this one is a, I would say it's almost a black. I would say it's a really deep charcoal color, and it has some silver flecks in it. So this one here, I would say is like a bronze. I feel like that one took a little bit of working up. It didn't feel quite as soft as some of the other ones. Um, maybe because I hadn't used that one yet, I'm not sure. This one, I would also say it's like a golden bronze, maybe like an antiqued golden bronze. This one is more of an orangey, I would say an orangey copper. Um, this one is, again, like another bronze shade. These three right here, these two and this one look very similar. They are slightly different, like this one's a little bit deeper, but they are kind of similar. And then this last one is a pink shade and it does have a slight sheen to it, but it's still very wearable. So I wore these two shades today. I put the purple all over the lid. I added a little bit of the pink over it and then added a little bit more purple back over it. So that is what I'm wearing today on my lids. And I just love these eyeshadows, you guys. They are beautiful and very pigmented and I highly recommend this palette. I think it's really, really nice. And I love that it comes in its own little packaging and that they're magnetic. So I think it's really handy for travel. So the next product is this right here. This is the Illuminating Blush Strips. And this is just a really gorgeous highlight. Um, so this is the packaging that it comes in. It does have a mirror at the bottom. It doesn't have a brush or anything, which is fine because I don't use those type of brushes that usually come in compacts like this. But look how beautiful this is. It doesn't even look like I've touched it, but I seriously have been wearing this every single day. First, I'm gonna give you swatches of each shade, and then I'm gonna swirl my finger in all of them together. So these are all the colors. Very pigmented. colors right there. Now I've been mainly sticking to the top part of the palette just because it's a little bit more wearable for me because I am of a light complexion. Now if you're somebody with a darker complexion you can definitely you go more towards the bottom. Um, you could also use these as eyeshadows if you wanted but I've been mostly sticking to the top part here and using this as my highlight. That's what I'm actually wearing today but it's just beautiful. It gives this beautiful sheen do you see that so pretty um so i have it on my cheekbones right here and i have it on my nose and i just think it's really really pretty um very very stunning so like i said it's just so pigmented now when you dab your brush into this you really want to make sure that you literally just dab like look at how much product you get when you just dab if you swirl your brush it's going to kick up a lot of product so with this product, a little bit goes a long way. You really don't want to swirl your brush in it. You just want to barely dab your brush in it like this. And then you want to make sure you tap off the excess because it will give you a lot of product. Do you see that? Look at that glow. Oh, so pretty. I cannot get enough of this highlighter. Look at how gorgeous. So this is the Illuminating Blush Strips. I think they do have another one of these. Um, I picked this one. I think it was a little bit lighter if I remember correctly, but you guys, I'm in love with this. Look at how beautiful it is. A little bit goes a long way. Ugh, so gorgeous. All right, next is this product right here. This is the Roman 3D Mosaic, the Mosaic Powder. 
and they just come in these little boxes. So they have nice packaging. I like their packaging. Um, so that is the mosaic powder right there. This is actually what I'm wearing today as blush. It's just a beautiful color when you swirl your brush into all of the colors. It kind of gives you this mauve rosy color, which I love. So let me just swirl my finger in it. It just, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's very pigmented. Gives you this beautiful, I would say it's a pretty natural, like, pinky mauve rose color. I just really, really love it. And that is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. So the next product is this right here. This is called Peachy Paradise, and this is just one of their blushes. They had another one of these that was in a pink shade, and I think I'm going to purchase that one because it looks really pretty as well. So look at how gorgeous this color is, you guys. It is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So there is a swatch of it right there. Very, very pigmented. All of these products blend out effortlessly. Like they blend out so nicely onto the skin. So isn't that such a beautiful peachy color? I would say it's pretty matte. Um, it does, if you look at it in the pan, it does have some kind of very, very, very minimal reflex in it. I mean, they're so small. You can't really, I wouldn't say it's even a satin finish. Uh, when you put it on, it looks very matte. And you can barely even see those little shimmer particles in it. So I would describe it as a matte shade. Um, but it is stunning and beautiful. And I've worn this a few times and I, I love it. I think it's so pretty. Especially for the summer and the springtime. Definitely going to be pulling that out a lot. So next is this bronzer. This is the Americano bronzer. So this is the Americano bronzer. As you can see, it has some gold sheen to it. And I know not everybody would love that, but I personally do. Um, especially if I'm wearing like a very matte face. Like today I wore a matte foundation. I wore the Rimmel London Stay Matte. So because I was so matte, sometimes I like to add a lot of shimmer to my face. Um, and it's not that this is really like shimmery and has a high sheen to it, but it does have some gold kind of particles in it, like small reflex. Um, they give you a nice little sheen to your face. So that's what it looks like. Um, it does warm up my face nicely. It does look very orange on my hand. Not so orange back here, but like if I hold it up close, it looks pretty orange on my skin tone. But um, I actually use this to contour with a little bit. I just lightly contoured with it. I used my Real Techniques contour brush. I just lightly um, contoured with this and I just think it gives a nice little glow to the skin, warms it up nicely. I just really, really like it. I don't know if you can see that gold sheen that it gives. It's very, very pretty. So, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, I've used mine quite a bit. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but I've been using this every single day. And I actually really like this, especially when I'm wearing my matte foundations. All right, the last two products are lip products. Um, first, let's talk about this lipstick right here. This is the Ofra lipstick in color number 206. So this lipstick doesn't have a name, but it does have a number. So this is the packaging that they come in. They're actually kind of short compared to some other lipstick brands, but I don't mind that at all. It's kind of short and small, which I think is super cute. So the packaging is nice, and it has the color of the lipstick at the bottom, and then it has the number at the top. So this is the shade right here. This is a perfect everyday nude, you guys. I love it. Um, it is so creamy on the lips. It's actually so soft and creamy that it's kind of one of those lipsticks that you have to be careful with because it's it's so soft that it kind of moves in the tube. And so as you can see, it's been hitting the back of the tube right there. So I have to be careful with it. But it is such a beautiful nude. I've been wearing this a lot this week. I think it's gorgeous. And it's so creamy and moisturizing, you guys. Ugh. That is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's just, it's just so smooth on the lips. I absolutely love this. Um, I would like to pick up a couple more shades of their lipsticks because they do have quite a few different shades. Um, and this one I just think is an absolute perfect nude. I would say it has a slight sweet scent to it. Not as strong. 
but definitely a beautiful everyday nude. Love, love, love the shade. So highly recommend that color, 206 if you love nude lips. So the last product is this Oprah Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And you guys know that like liquid lipsticks are really in right now. I mean, lots of brands are coming out with them. So this is the packaging of this one. I like it because it's like in a very slim, long tube. Um, this one's called Hollywood. And I'm actually gonna try it on for you, so let me take off the lipstick that I have on now. So I did wear this to work one day, and it's definitely long wearing. Um, very opaque. It's a beautiful pink. It's kind of like a... Mm, how would I describe the color? It makes it, the, the applicator is just a doe foot applicator, but I feel like it makes it very easy to apply, like, around the edges of my lip. So I don't really feel like I need to apply a lip liner with it, just because it is so easy to apply. So I really love this color. It's beautiful. How would I describe this? Like, is it like a corally pink? So that isn't that such a beautiful color. I think it's so pretty. So it's starting to dry and setting. So once it does, it's just not going to budge. And I love that I can really like sculpt out my lips with the tip of it, which is nice. So I definitely want to pick up a couple more of these. Like if you want to go to an event and you do not want your lipstick to fade or budge, this is your girl right here. So you could also apply like a gloss over it to make it more glossy, but it definitely dries to a matte finish. I love this color, it's beautiful. All right guys, so that is it for my Ofra Cosmetics review video. I hope this was helpful, and I really am loving all of these products, you guys. They're so nice. Ofra, like I said, does it all. They um, formulate, they test, they manufacture, they ship, they package. I mean, they do it all. They are a laboratory, so they do create all of their own products. And like I said, they um, create their products for beauty schools, they create them for salons, so um, I highly recommend them. I think they are super nice products and I definitely want to pick up some more of them from their website. And I actually do have a coupon code to share with you guys. I do not make any money or anything from sharing this coupon code with you. It's just simply a coupon code for you guys to use. It is for 30% off your purchase, which I think is really good because not all not all companies will give you like a 30% discount, but I, but I think that's a pretty darn good discount. So I actually plan on using it myself to purchase some more products that I'm intrigued with. I think I want to purchase the other um, blush like this that is in a pink shade. I also want to get a couple more of the lipsticks and also the liquid lipsticks. I really, really love this color. I cannot get over it. I know in the liquid lipsticks, I think they have some really like bold shades. So, mm, I love it. So I definitely want to pick up some more products and I'm going to use my own coupon code. Let's not lie. So um, I will leave that down in the description box for you. Like I said, I don't make any commission or anything from you using the coupon code. It's simply for you guys. I'm going to use it myself and I highly recommend this brand. I love it. I love all the products. And I hope this video was helpful and useful. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions that I maybe didn't answer, please leave them in the description box. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.